Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how you can create 3D assets using AI applications. In this case, it's going to be uh, Bing Create. Now, Bing, Bing Create, um, let me just put it right here. Um, I'm just going to explain this. Bing Create is essentially a Microsoft product which is using a combination of Dolly and Copilot, which are both AI applications, which allows you to generate images, 3D art using text prompts, right? The ability to generate 3D designs using text prompts. And how this is done is basically using the AI engine which is right now has been called Copilot, which is using combination of ChatGPT and Dolly to be able to enter your prompt descriptions, and then it will help you generate different 3D assets or 3D fonts, which you can then later on sell it on online marketplaces, such as, for example, um, you've got like Printful, Printful, Etsy, you also have Printify, Redbubble, Printify, and Redbubble, right? These are all online marketplace which allows you to sell your 3D arts and uh, which you can benefit from as a side income, okay? So let me just go ahead and do a demonstration of how this works and I'll, I'll keep the link in the description below for the prompts that, that I've been using, okay? So I'll just copy one of the prompts here, which I have. Okay, let me just copy one of the prompts here. And then you hit create. And then it's going to start generating the, the images for you, right? Uh, keep in mind you have this token here. This gives you the balance of tokens that you can use. Um, whenever you log in with your, let's say, your Outlook Live account, your Hotmail account, or your, uh, your basically your, your personal Microsoft account, you can have a balance maybe around 25 tokens, I think. And every time you generate a different image or 3D typography or any kind of image, it uses different, uh, uh, an X number of tokens. I think it's like one or two tokens for these kinds of prompts. The longer the prompt that you enter, the um the more number of tokens that it will use okay so this is an example of a 3d art right here and here is it gives you the different options and then you can just simply save it locally and then you can upload it right now notice here um sometimes it, it misses this so you have to be careful birthday is not spelled correctly the double a right so this this can happen sometime depending on the on um uh, on the prompt, right? So for example, this one is working well, so just be aware of that, right? And then you can just go and save it locally, and then you can just open it or save it, and then you can export it somewhere, right? So once you're here, you can start downloading it, and then um, let me just try to open it here. Here it is right here. It's usually going to save it as a as a uh, as a JFIF, which is basically a JPEG file, uh, which you can actually open it, and then you'll be able to save it as PNG or let's say um, any kind of file format, and from there you can export it, right? So I can just show you right here if I'm going to open it. Okay, from here you can save it as a PNG file or a JPEG format. Um, you can save it as PMG, you can get a high, much higher resolution. And uh, we can actually double check that. Save as, for example, JPEG. Based on that, you'll be able to see its image size of each one. So this 298 kilobytes 
and this is actually two megabytes. So if you save it as PNG, which is Portal Network Graphics, it's going to be much larger in size, which is in this case two megabyte in size, right? And the majority of um, the majority of of uh, of online assets uh, sellers such as Etsy and others, they would require a high resolution image, right? If uh, if, for example, they require even higher resolution, you can actually go to online image enhancers and it will increase the resolution of the image and it will be increasing size and then it will, be, it will be even much higher resolution, which allows you to be able to sell it uh, or propose it on, for example, Redbubble or any of those um, other online marketplaces. Okay, so let's go back right here. If you want to go back and all you need to do is simply change this, um, the wording here. It's going to, you can say whatever you want. You can say Happy Valentine's Day. You can be. You can say Happy Mother's Day. You can say um, you know alcohol free for those uh, people who are became alcohol free or or left alcohol. What whatever the case or whatever the event is or Happy Father's Day, you can do that. And then from there you can print it on a specific asset. Let, let's say for example a T-shirt or a mug or a coffee cup, and then you can actually use it for to give it to your friends, family, loved ones, or or whatever the occasion may, may be, right? The the way to create a side income for this is to be able to create an account with, for example, uh, Etsy or any kind of uh, online, like Printful and others, and then you'll be able to uh, sell it online uh, on those on those marketplaces, right? You can see which one of those. So Printful. Right, Printful which allows you to be able to add your assets there and then uh, they will give you different options for you to uh, either, 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 either as a drop shipping or sell it or put the designs on a um, on a t-shirt or any kind of mug and then you'll be able to uh, sell it online okay so these are the different options which allows you to generate 3d uh, fonts in very 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 fast way Okay, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe, and let me know if you have any comments.